How's it going people? It's Trotty Teaching with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you an awesome tutorial on Photoshop. Well, this tutorial I got in mind from an idea over searching out a lot of things and I was thinking about if I get a complex photo like this and you might also get come sometimes with a complex photo like this then how are you going to stand this tree out of this whole background? Well, this is probably you cannot do with the uh, selection tool. You just simply cannot do it. We can select it out and then if we piece it out like so we can also gonna get this sort of part which we do not need I'm just check this out. I'm gonna press ctrl T press V and I'm gonna tell you how you can do that so first of all what we need to do is to select the layer that we want is there only one layer so I'm gonna select that and go to select and click on color range uh, it's an option greatly uh, this is really useful and just simply click on the selection and the fuzziness, we're gonna how we're gonna use it. So I'm gonna make it up to 25, which I generally used to like. And you see the white particles, those white particles are what we need. So, first of all, I'm gonna press shift and that's gonna click up to add. I'm gonna take more shape around like this and so. And I'm gonna make it out a bit so that we do not get these layers because we do not really need them. And then we need to select the tree because we do want some sort of colors in them. And we don't want to release really means lose the details of the tree that we're using. For example, like this much, and that's gonna select this whole but we do not want that we can remove it later. So simply click on it, okay. And that's gonna select the whole tree. Now press W, that's gonna select selection tool, press all to remove select remove tool and remove this extra selection on the air. This is gonna do the work. Simple way you're gonna go to select your lasso tool and I'm gonna zoom out of it and go back to lasso tool and make a free selection like this make sure it's not selecting the tree I'm gonna make it alt by holding it or maybe I didn't hold it right no I'm gonna go back yeah now select our lasso tool press alt so that there is a minus sign on the lasso tool and let's select this whole make sure that you don't select the tree because we want the tree I'm gonna make it out like so and I'm gonna make it out right this and that's gonna deselect it well as for some other details left I'm gonna remove the like like so and that was too good bit too much and I'm gonna zoom in and go again I'm gonna decrease its size I'm gonna press the removing so that it does not include the layer which I really don't want oops I was just selecting we we'll gonna remove the visible marker tool later I'm simply gonna fit screen press V and press W baby press W and that's gonna select back to your selection tool right click and you can say layer wire copy uh, the best thing that I want to do here is to go back and instead of selecting I'm gonna make a mask like this and that's gonna give us this tree only and what we need to do is to bring up, bring up some details let's switch to white color and go into your brush and when you see it's gonna recover the details of the tree and the best part is that it won't affect the other parts we're gonna go in back and I'm gonna zoom in and make sure that you apply the brush right over these areas because we don't want the rest of the things to show up I'm gonna make it like and so so that gains details this And the next thing we want to do is to press out this thumbnail and then we're going to wipe it out like that. And the next thing we want to do is to simply make some duplicate of this level control plus J. And finally, hold control, shift, and click on the last layer and press control plus E. Or you can simply right click and go to merge layers. And that's going to give you the final layer that you really want and it's completely detailed and full of. I'm sorry, I'm going to that uh, What I'm going to do is to create a new layer. I'm going to select the gradient tool and let's make it like that. <laughs> well, that's what I say. The, for these details, what you can do is to click on uh, that mask tool and apply the black layer so that removes them. And that's going to select the best of your stuff. But today, make sure to like and subscribe to Frosty Tech. I'm sending on. 